I'm going to start by talking about the Second Amendment's origins, uh, which, if you'll read it, uh, really spoke to the need to have a civilian militia that was armed. Uh, this, the time that it was written, uh, the militia was uh, an extra uh, military force to the standing army that could uh, have been necessitated uh, by potential invasion uh, or insurrection. So that was the beginning uh, sensibility. And what's important in that beginning is the notion of transparency. Uh, transparency means that uh, the government uh, needs to know who has weapons, uh, whether it's a standing army or whether it's a militia. There's a necessity to know where the weapons are uh, so they can be organized for the defense of the country. Uh, and of course, uh, any kind of weapon are used for hunting uh, it could potentially be used for other purposes. So what I want to talk about here is the importance of transparency in today's gun control measures. That what we need to know is who has the weapons and where they're beginning to concentrate. Uh, if weapons concentrate in urban areas that have a lot of violence, then that's an indicator that people don't feel safe. If they concentrate in other countries, uh, that's also an indication where people feel unsafe or on the verge of some sort of insurrection. Uh, it's also important to note that the, it's now been studied very carefully, very empirically, that the best way to overthrow a dictator or to bring about social change is with nonviolence, that violence is not nearly as effective. So the idea that we have to hide away weapons in case of a revolution is really antiquated thinking about how social change really occurs. It's also true that arming everybody is not a way to make the world more secure. Uh, we have uh, 30,000 gun deaths uh, per year in the United States, 20,000 of which are suicides. So really, the, uh, this, the, using guns to get security just makes us all more insecure, whether it's here or whether it's around the, around the world. So we have to look at all the features that drive people's urge for gun ownership. And again, hunting is one thing, but all the other reasons people have around self-defense oftentimes really just don't match up uh, with the real security concerns of a culture.